Alright guys, hello, this, uh, someone requested me to do this video, so I'm doing the video, of CyanogenMod 10.1, build on the Epic 4G Touch, this is the Sprint Galaxy S2, as you can see there, and, hold on, okay, so what's different about this build, other than CyanogenMod 10, well, it's based off of Android 4.2, so it's, completely different in that aspect. So let's start with the lock screen. So first you have your lock screen which is it has widgets on it. I usually have the clock widget and you can swipe to the left to get or right to get to your camera. And then you can swipe left to get to your um widgets, other widgets. So yeah. And I have it set to where that took a while where if I press on the home button, it'll turn on the flashlight, if I press and hold the home button. So yeah. And then this is your launcher, this is Trebuchet, and yeah. So bugs that were fixed from test 1 to test 2, this is just test builds, so I shouldn't really be doing a review video on them, but test builds are test builds, so. Um, Mike in the call in in a call does work I can't necessarily show you but because I don't know how to blur out the number but Mike in the call does work and I've tested it with few people and it works so um this build is pretty much I would I don't know for me it's a daily driver because there's not all that much not not working because I would probably use this as a daily driver myself. So let's go into settings about phone. Android 4.1.2 there. Jelly Bean, little hidden Easter egg. So yeah. So let's go through all the settings of Cyanogen Mod. So first you have your launcher settings. And in home screen you have grid size. Home screens, default screen, stretch screens, which is expand them to horizontally, or expand the screens to fit the size of the display. Uh, persistent search bar toggle, resize any widget, hide icon labels, transition effects, um, scroll wallpaper, wallpaper quick render, wallpaper size, fades fade side screens, which I actually like that feature, and show outlines. I might just do that one too. So yeah, then you have your drawer, which has orientation. You can do it to vertical or horizontal. I personally like the horizontal swipe. If you do turn to horizontal, it's still paged. It's not like a swipe down, you know, how it used to be on gingerbread. So yeah. Hidden apps, join with apps, transition effect, side or fade side pages, show page indicator, fade indicator, indicator position too, which is pretty cool. General auto rotate screen in full screen mode. Whoops. Pages, default page, icon, icon scale, dock divider is what's in there. So yeah, it, they really went all out with the um trebuchet this build i know they didn't do much with trebuchet in 10 but they did a whole lot with trebuchet in this build so i'm very happy with it let's go to the system settings in sas bar you have the show clock which will get rid of the clock am and pm style none they don't have a center clock though which kind of makes me sad i actually like that feature a little bit battery status style battery or signal status style Brightness control, show notification count, quick settings panel, which is basically your, you know, your quick settings, which you pull down notification bar, bam, right there. So, yeah, you can customize that in tiles and layout. Um, power menu, if you, when you turn off, where you press and hold the power button, this menu right here. Um, notification drawer, if you don't like the quick settings pull down, you can always have your toggles back. Signage about toggles right there. So, I really like that, but I kind of like the way that quick settings panel 
handles the or handles it better. It gives more information, and it's only one click away, so it's not like it's that much of a difference uh, using that. So clock widget, which is their Cronus clock widget. I think I'm saying that right, Cronus. I don't know, but yeah. Notification light, standard signage mod notifications, hardware keys. We've seen this before. Basically, choose what buttons do what and what buttons do what on upon a long press. You have your signage mod themes, which are pretty cool. And yeah, so hold on. Okay. Um, I downloaded the Moto Blur theme. Let's test and see if it even starts or does it. Switch to Moto Blur. Looks like it's going to do it. Yep, it did it. So, Moto Blur theme working, as you can see. Yep. It's not fully themed for 4.2, but it still works. So, I'm not complaining. Okay. Um, lock screen settings. You have screen security, which... Basic screen security. Button actions, which... I set it to where if I press the home button, long press the home button on the lock screen, it brings up the flashlight. Slider shortcuts, we've seen that before. Um, battery status, I only like it when it's charging. Um, sound, basic sound settings. It does come with the advanced Epic 4G touch settings. I changed the backlight timeout to never, but we've seen this all before. You know, nothing new there. Um, developer options. There's a few new things in developer options, like 4X MSA, and that's for the OpenGL 2. That's for the Class 5 graphics cards, or graphics in Android, because we use a Class 5 graphics chip. I actually just watched a video on the new Class 6 graphics chip today, and it looks like it's going to be pretty cool. But Sanjuman added the kill app back button, so that's pretty cool. Performance. Now I'm going to teach you how to get maximized performance out of your phone. So turn on 16-bit transparency right there. Go to memory. Damn, turn that back on. Go to memory management. Turn on allow purging of assets and ZRAM to be 18%. Then change your governor to Pegasus Q. And if you want some more battery life, change your clocking to 1 gigahertz. And that will just make your device so much faster. So yeah. Then about phone, you have the CyanjaMod Easter egg, which is that. Then it has SIDS. So yeah. And there's my launcher. This is not the Cronus. I think this is Cronus. But Cronus, wait, let me change the wallpaper. I like phase beam wallpaper the best. Okay, so that's Cronus right there. And you can move your app drawer to wherever you want it to go. I like it in the middle. But other than that, this is really stable for a test build. I'm actually very surprised on how stable this is. Like, damn. But it's pretty stable for a test build. I can't wait till the till it gets better. But cam bugs. Let's talk about bugs. Microphone only works in calls, which is good that it works at all, you know. Um, camcorder does not work. And that's just about it for the bugs. Um, I will be making a separate video for my Zoom. I'm actually filming this on my Zoom. And I'll have to use my Galaxy S2. I'll have to switch ROMs and film my Zoom version of this uh, review later. So, alright guys, that was just a little preview of CyanogenMod 10.1 for the Galaxy S2 Epic 4G Touch. I'll see you guys later.